Hello Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. Welcome back to my channel everyone and thank you for being here with me today for your tarot reading. Before I kick off this reading, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That would be much appreciated. Uh, for private readings, please shoot me over an email. Um, they are subject to availability. This is going to be a reading for my Air Signs. So if you're a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, or you've got a lot of this in your natal chart, then this reading can be for you. And we're going to be looking at who is coming back in the coming days. So we're going to see if there's someone out there you've been in no contact with, you haven't heard from, or you've they've sort of always been in your heart or been in your mind. And you've always wondered, are you going to get another chance? When is this going to take place um, type thing? So we'll see. You know, it's almost like something you've been waiting for here, Air Signs. So if that's what you've been waiting for, we're going to see um, who this person is that is going to be returning to you. Uh, so we'll get straight into it. Let me shuffle my decks here a little bit and see what what comes up. Who, who is coming back for Gemini, Libra and Aquarius? Wow, okay. Gemini, you've come up here. Um, this is a strong notion of a soulmate or a twin flame. This is really powerful because I feel like there's a faded return. So straight away, this is a pretty big connection. This is someone who has a massive or had a massive impact on you, on your life. Okay, so, so far, sign-wise, we've got Gem and Capricorn. To me, the Empress is a very Venus energy. I read her as a Taurus or a Libra. So it could be someone under one of these signs as well. Okay, let me get some more cards from my Shadowscapes Tarot and see what comes up. Okay, there's definitely a massive rebirth. There's a massive turning around. The lovers and the use of cups. The universe is definitely sending you someone back for a relationship, not just a hookup. Okay, it might start off as a hookup. Um, I can see you're missing each other physically and they're thinking about you, fantasizing about you. Okay. Really interesting. There's there's a couple of nines here. And you are the swords air signs, and you can see this spiral. Okay, this is someone you had a very tumultuous relationship with. It's like after you guys broke up or ended things, it's like you you felt like on the verge of going crazy, your thoughts were spiraling out of control. Okay, this is someone who's yeah, like I said, has had a major impact on you it's almost like you haven't you've never been able to stop thinking about them because we've got this it's almost looks like a cycle these cyclical thoughts that have come up in the cards here uh okay you were badly burnt by this person or you were very very hurt by them three of swords you they might have cheated there was there was a lot of pain attached to this person i don't know if they knew about your trauma and they sort of reactivated an old or past trauma in you, but somehow you might have even linked this person to a previous traumatic effect, like if your parents divorced really young or you lost a parent, like the attachment, it's sitting next to the attachment card, you know, like eight of swords, nine of swords, air signs, you had, you had trauma and this person activated your trauma. Now they might have done it through like a betrayal or something that they said, but there's pain. There's still really, really raw pain, my lovelies, that you're still feeling about this person. I get that you've been in a healing process about them. 
um, or you're in in a healing process and it's like you never you never have been able to heal from this person fully because they've really activated a trauma to your core and i get that you had an on and off relationship there's a couple of nines here which is telling me you've had you've been with this person multiple times and you've ended things multiple times and they're coming back. You might have been trapped. Eight of Swords, I keep getting the trapped energy. Now, this is someone who could have been controlling, right? They could have controlled you. Or it's like they're still controlling your thoughts. And maybe some of you don't want them to do this. Um, but you've got Gemini energy next to this person, which means you still think about things. It's almost like you're going around, you're working, you're working out, or you're just, you're going about your day, and it's like the smallest thing will remind you of this person, or somehow, like, you'll be thinking about one thing, and then it just, your thoughts just weave itself and morph into this person and that memory, like, it's just, you can't even help it anymore. So it's, it's still pretty real. Um, I get that you're still in a healing energy, but I'm getting that there's a lot of pain, especially on your side still. So there's a lot of things that you'd have to work through, um, but they are coming up. Now, this could also be trapped in a sense where I'm getting like a blocked energy because the swan can't move. Okay, it's trapped by these swords. So there, it's like somehow you're trapped in a sense like you've been blocked or you're in a scenario where there's, there's not much movement or you haven't had much movement. Um, that's about to change because you've got two angels in the Gemini, in the in the uh, lovers, and in the judgment card. The judgment card is news, um, and angels do represent communication. So I do see that this person is reaching out in the coming days. They still love you. The Queen of Cups is here now. Sea turtles are turtles, uh, creatures of longevity. Okay, they live very long lives. So you might have planned a very long future with this person. Now I see this is an engagement card. We've got the pregnancy card. You might have even fallen pregnant to this person or spoken very seriously about having children. There might even be a child in the picture here between the two of you. Um, but there's still love that exists, and I get that you had big plans you had big plans to settle or like live out your lives together and they might have moved away okay this person since you broke up or something like this you're in different areas or something like they might have moved over seas you might have stayed you might have moved out of a living situation if you were living together but i get that someone went on a journey to relocate after things ended or the way things ended. Um, they still care. And I'm getting some of you, you know, you've, you've, you've had a cold reception from them, but they still care. I think they're just trying to protect themselves. I get that you might've been called to them. Okay. They might've sort of tried to come back, but Again, I'm getting that there was just a lot of pain and you're still reliving it. So take your time there. Be patient. I do want to say Ace of Cups is this person potentially coming back and offering you more than they previously did. Oh. You know, the devil can be like they've had a tough time since you haven't been together. And... You know, the devil card can be adversity, right? It's things that are negative, could be like depression, vices, drinking a lot, smoking. Like this person hasn't had the best reaction since you broke up. But out of, advers out of adversity, we see the Ace of Cups, the hand of God, you know. And isn't that just the way it is? Like out of our tough times and us reaching rock bottom. I get that this person has reached rock bottom or very, very close, right? They're scraping the, bo the bottom of the barrel. Um, they might've been sleeping around. They're, you know, they're chained to their thoughts or they've, they've resorted to these vices to help them through this process. Um, but out of that, a good thing happened. So maybe you needed to be a part. Okay. So I feel like it is 
it is someone who's a really good communicator. Um, it's someone who you've always shared a very strong mental connection with. Um, and they stimulate you in a lot of ways. Okay, they make you laugh. They're challenging. They're they're silly. They're playful. There's something. There's a point of mental attraction here um, about you and this person. You you've always had things to talk about. So could be like a conversationalist. Could be someone who's in communications or come from comes from communications. It's a very creative individual. Might even be like creatively or musically talented. And they're coming back. They have some news. I feel like they might have some big news. But lots of butterflies. Now, butterflies are messengers. And I see lots of them here. So it could be, it's very likely that um, in the next few days, you're going to get more and more messages from them. Like, this could be like a lot of WhatsApp notifications. It could be like Instagram DMs. It could be like communications through different um, forms. But lots of little... I feel like it's an opportunity to get things going again and to start speaking. Um, and I do feel like you're going to have a very important conversation with this person. So something about the number three, three and nine is coming up. So could be in the next three to nine days. Um, could be someone who's a life path number three or nine. Could be 3 p.m., 9 p.m., they call, they text. These numbers are significant. Could be 39, 93, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, maybe 12 makes three. So I keep getting coming back to the three. And th three is a big number, it's a try number. So. Yeah, this this there's potential here for something for something more something more than what you previously had, or I get that some of you sort of came close to having it all with this person, but then it didn't work out for whatever reason. Um, they might have a child. We've got a child here, whether it's to you or to someone else, but they always felt on some level that you were their soulmate. They always saw you as that lover's energy. So it's someone who could be quite spiritual uh, and believes in these, like, you were meant to find each other. You know, it might even be someone who's pre uh, previously passed a comment like that. Like, they're like, okay, I, I believe you're my soulmate. Or, like, I've never connected to anyone the way I've connected to you. Or, I've never loved anyone the way I've loved you. Like, they've, they've made big, bold statements about you uh, and about your love life before. Hmm. Pretty intense stuff. Could be someone who's also quite sensitive. There is a sensitivity here. Queen of Cups can rule Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So it might be someone with water in their chart. Um, they're, they're, they're pain too as well though. They're carrying pain. Maybe pain that they inflicted on you. Pain that they caused but it's there I get that it's someone who's so like has found their faith or something to do with faith or religion is coming up next to them so it could be super religious could be someone who comes from a super religious family and might even be someone you were engaged to I get that the ace of cups is like an engagement card or they asked you like do you want to get married in the future? Do you want to be engaged? <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, there's something about, like, I get, like, a promise. This person promised a lot for you, promised a lot to you. But it's like negativity. You've, you've, these dark birds, you just... This is someone you have either negative thoughts about or you have super, like a really, really big anxiety over them. Like you just think the worst with them. It's just, could be from past experience, yes, maybe, but it's like you, you always anticipate something here. 
but you're still linked to each other. Where is the chains? Now, it could be someone who's very, very attractive. And like I said, it could be a, um, could be a hookup that sort of comes first. And then the more seriousness follows. Like the more serious conversations. And I'm getting like an unblocking happening here. It's someone who's also been influenced by their friends and family. So if you had like friends and family that got in the way of the relationship, like in-laws or anything like that, they were sort of influenced by the people around them because I get that they have a lot of people around them. Friends, siblings, I'm getting a social butterfly. Um, and I felt like at times this person with the judgment card revealed a lot of your personal relationship or what was going on between you and them to a lot of people around them. And then it's like people had opinions, people had something to say, and somehow they impacted this breakup or the relationship ending. But I think being away from you has sort of made them realize they have to rely on themselves. They have to listen to their inner voice because it's their life. Otherwise, I feel like they might have had an epiphany. Um, the judgment card can be like sort of assessing situations and going, okay, well, you know, I think I've, there, there's been a lot of times where they've been like, okay, what if I had said that? What if I didn't say that? What if I had done this differently? Like, I get that the way they're thinking about the situation is a bit different, but your souls are still connected. So um, that's a huge... That's a pretty big that's a pretty big thing as to why they'd want to come back. And I think on some Queen of Cups is intuition, some of you knew on some level this person would always come back. Whether you believed it or not, or you thought it was your make-believe anxiety. Um But a part of you always hoped, Nine of Pentacles, a very a small part even, always hoped or always left room for this person in your life. There might be someone here that still has another person next to them though with this three of cups S yes so it's swords not three of cups um so there might be there might be some baggage next to this person or another person's energy altogether and the both of you the both of you have to sort of overcome this overcome this this third party situation could be another job possibly another person now especially if they've got child uh, they've got children or a child with someone else it may be that kind of energy coming up into the picture could also be someone who's trapped from you like restricted so you might have like restricted them from seeing your stories you might have muted them you might have blocked them you might have like somehow you've prevented them from making movement towards you and they've, they've been feeling stuck. I'd be surprised again in the next three days that they come back and you, you rebuild something again. But it feels different. There's, there's pain here, yes. There's some things, I, I feel like you're gonna talk out some things. I feel like it's gonna sort of heal the both of you um and i feel like there's been some maturation and some independence since you've both been apart so i see that you've both worked on yourselves individually so that when this person does come back it it's not going to be effortless to slip back into things the way they were but i feel like you'll be stronger versions of yourselves when they do come back um to take this forward. But soulmates, this is super, super sweet. Pay attention to who the universe is bringing back to you, air signs. There's a reason why it's happening. So I'm going to leave it there, everyone. Thank you again so, so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to drop a like. Um, you can also subscribe to the channel um, as well. 
That would be very much appreciated. So I'm sure I'll speak to you soon, my lovely little YouTube fam. So take care, everyone. Lots of love and bye for now.